Ronald Wimberley's. That's what we're doing? Yeah. You want to do that? You got us open, so. Well, I have everything open. Okay, so I'm ready. Oh. Even your legs? <laughs> For those not man, being able to see at home, spreading. they are open. Yes, I like to sit with my feet in stirrups. Ronald Wimberley. It's the most comfortable. Prince of Cats. Written and drawn by him. Uh, it was... <laughs> by him? Yeah, this one was interesting because it came, it came out in 2012. And then went out of print in yeah. four years and, and came back in 2016 as a graphic novel with some extended pages and stuff. Yeah. Tucks to it. Yeah. I, I oh, read an it, image published, sorry. I read in an interview that he said he was pissed off about that. And essentially, people kept coming up to him saying, hey, I want to read your book. Where's your book? Can't get your book. It's overpriced online. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. So there's a little turmoil between him and Vertigo. But the second release, image. Image. But there's like Vertigo tie in. Oh, so his well. Vertigo is the first one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think Image picked the ball up and it's like, probably. Okay, it sounds we, like an image we, we got you. Um, the second release was way more successful, and obviously, with the little add-ins and uh, I don't know if the color got punched up too, because there's some. Like, I didn't see the original, so I don't. I don't know. I think oh, the first because it's, it's possible to find. Fair, fair, <laughs> fair enough. The, if the first one was in black and white, this is definitely like a uh, day and night compared to what would have been to what is now, and definitely makes the comic that much more fuller in a lived-in world. Filled out. Yeah, well, it, it's it's a 1980s Brooklyn. Yes, nineteen eighties. It's uh, yeah. Um, it's it's um, to explain it, it's hip hop inspired, eighties inspired samurai theme with gang conflict and melodrama galore. Uh, written in iambic pentameter and incorporates actual lines from the Romeo and Juliet plays. So, yeah, b- based on characters from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. who both make appearances. So it's a but lo- it's not, not their story. It's about Tybalt. Yes, that's that. Yeah, it's 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 based on the story, but it's yeah, it's about Tybalt. Not so he's a secondary character in Romeo. Romeo I think. Julie, yeah, I Romeo don't, Julie, Well, he's right. a yeah secondary. Um, he's one of the Capulets, and this is based on the Capulet versus Montague, a tale as old as time. Name a movie that, that doesn't talk about this family doesn't like this family. Yeah, Blood War, yada yada yada. West Side Story, Romeo and Juliet has many different versions as you want to see. Um, this is the definitive adjacent story yeah yeah <laughs> yeah nobody else gets covered other than romeo and juliet yeah and yeah they're and romeo's barely in it no but really, he is truly. in it he's and, in it and he's got some good stealer scenes too because yeah, it, yeah. it helps give depth to um rosalind's character who we'll get introduced yeah. later and yeah. just uh i keep wanting to, i keep wanting to call him tie bait but it's th- tie bolt yeah tie bolt so yeah. if, you, if you hear me calling it wrong nothing new but uh, yeah, <laughs> R- R- you get a nice dynamic between Romeo, who's on the top of this hit list, which is like the the greatest guest fighters going down. Yep. And uh, Tybalt, who's steady, steadily rising. Yeah, the the, the Capulets and Montagues. Montague. Montagues. Well, You're more French than I am. I, you know what? I'll be honest. You went to French immersion school. That's why I think I said Montague, because in, in French it's G-U-E. It's oh, like they, a, they flipped it? Like, uh, the Montagues. They go. Here, I'll be honest with you. I fucking hate Shakespeare. I hate. I don't hate him. I hate his well, work. You, you I hate do, the way man. I do. <laughs> you do hate him. I bro. hate fucking Shakespeare because <laughs> I I hate the way he did his. The stories are fine. His verbiage. His, his verbiage is brutal. No, I so always... you hate old English or you hate Shakespeare? Because Shakespeare could have told these stories today, but the verbiage would have been different. And I probably would have liked them more because I know I know uh, Macbeth and King Lear. I think had stories I liked. Right. But I couldn't get past all Hamlet the... is the definitive. I, I, I remember, remember Hamlet, so. in in high school we read Twelfth Night, which is not bad, but Shylock gets fucking rolled over. Um, Hamlet, which was great. And I think one more, but I don't remember. I think we ended up doing Hobbit instead of another Shakespeare. Oh, so that would have been so much better. See, no, mine was mine were Macbeth, King Lear, Taming of the Shrew. Taming of the Shrew was good. And uh, something else. Probably Merchant probably. of Venice, I think? Merchant, yeah. Merchant, I think those were the four I did. And it, I, man, every time in school when I hit the Shakespeare block, my mark just... Dipped. It would just dip. Because I can't, I can't wrap my fucking head. I'm not smart to begin with, but I can't wrap my head around that... It's a, it's such a coded language. It's and so coded. And I, I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure you said it in the beginning, but again, this is the big caveat: the language used in this comic is uh, slang mixed with heavy, heavy Shakespearean. Yeah. yeah, it's so he's even coded any type of like lyrical type of uh, flow or rhythm in like old English. Yeah, it, yeah, it's man. This this book is. I had to read it twice. Did you read it twice? Yeah, yeah, I read it once and then I skipped the second time yeah. to kind of get through it. I had to read it twice. Um, Only because I, like, after I read it... No, it's worth reading twice. 
I just started reading reviews and stuff again. People like, yo, there's so many in jokes in there. It's like, yo, I oh, missed, yeah, you like, missed, a whole I missed bunch. so yeah. many jokes. So yeah, I went back. I was like, okay. Yeah. That's when I started like sending you screenshots. Yeah, because initially, this was good. I was going to say, initially, when I first read this, I didn't like it. Like, I read not the whole thing, but right. as I was getting into it, I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, I want to like this. Why can't I? And then yeah, once, which is. Yeah, it's a fucking day night because as soon as you see the first image, you're like, "What is this world?" Yeah, this, right? The art's amazing, and the first character you meet looks like fucking a kid from Cameo. Yeah, like, yeah, the guy yeah. from Cameo, Larry Blackman, like mixed with fucking I don't know, like uh, Kevin Durant. Yeah, like it's so stark, right? And it's such pop pastel colors. Yeah, on like uh, like a gray Brooklyn background, yeah. and all these kids are like b boy hip hops like uh tagging everything so everything's yeah. graffiti based yeah. too like it's so yeah. inviting it's so cool it's yeah it, so it invites cool. you to, into the world it's yeah. like i want to instantly love it yeah. but the first line is like it's like what <laughs> it's like ye old shit right right like, off why the top are you guys talking like that? they don't give a fuck right they go right in and he's like how is master dolph it was like well yeah so like that was saying wimberly he he mixes up he does quote romeo and drew that a few, verily oh uh, yeah <laughs> occasionally throughout this so he'll take actual phrases from the, the the original story yeah but he'll mix in other verbiage like you're saying right. that's more hip-hop based they're always rapping yes everything's rap i didn't pick that up until part way through mm-hmm. like they're always rapping which i think is how he, he intended it like you, yeah you oh no it's it. yeah it, it, yeah there's a rhythm to everything they said and then they'll, sometimes they'll come out of it a little bit and get more normal lingo yeah, but they, then they'll switch back and it's it's they, all over the place they get they get animated more like when emotion hits yeah because this is such a high octane i don't want to say change that not high octane but like you feel the weight of the emotions because these are all teenagers yeah it's very melodramatic been there. yeah yes and you're literally walking into whatever cw or fox or whatever whatever teen drama and it's right in the middle. There just happens to be a lot of spray painting and a lot of samurai swords and a yeah, lot of and dueling, yeah, and a lot of limbs just flying and deaths off scene too. Yes, off pages, yeah, which I think works. Yeah, very kept you in the book and made it more about the love story and this main character than it yeah. did about like oh he's ultra violent. This is just the everyday life, so the yeah. violence takes second place, even though it's constantly either in the back of Tybalt's head or. Right in front of him. Right. Yeah. They introduced the fact that he comes back without one of his friends. Yeah. Who just got murked yeah. out basically Mat- in Matrucci- a duel. Matruccio? Yeah. Pa- Patruccio? Pa- it's like a P. Oh, like... No, Matruccio. Patruccio's still there. He's the only one arm. Oh, okay. It's, Mat- it's Matruccio? That, that threw me off too. The names are, yeah, the names are fucking super weird. Shakespearean, but yeah. you know. I like Samson and Gregory. Yeah, no, no. Patruccio died. Patruccio yeah. here. Patruccio. Oh, okay. So he's dead. Ma- so Matruccio's still back. alive. Yeah. All right. So he comes back, meets up with his crew essentially. But they're all like, yo, you've been gone for a minute. Where, where's you? Where's the homeboy? Where, like, where's the crew? And he's like, nah. Yeah, he's not around. Yeah. They make it, right? And that's you're already thrown into the world, right? It's just like these three high school kids looking for something to do. They're bored on top of a rooftop to the point that they're all claiming to be the bardist. And one of them pisses off the, the top. There's a little scene of like people like, is it raining? And you just see little l- yellow yeah. drops falling. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing justice for the art direction and just the coloring of it because everything is so stark with grays blacks and whites every pop color yeah flashes out even more so like pinks are radiant blues are radiant yellows and greens and like the way it's done is so i want to say cinematic like it's yeah yeah. think sin city if they just threw splashes of color yeah the pinks and yellows and purple yeah it's like it's screaming out for a visual medium yeah like another visual medium Yeah, so just like and as a as an example of um, how they talk, like there's one where uh, the three cats at the beginning are, are they're going on top. Yeah. So it's like Gregory, Jumping, Gregory yeah. Samson, and uh, Tybalt, right? There you go. And they go, "Shh, listen, aerosols whisper." It's like, well, that's the sound of spray cans. Yeah, like I didn't pick up the, the first time. I was like, what "The fuck are you talking, talking about?" about yeah, yeah, you kind of got to break it down. Which is like a Shakespeare book. You yeah, know, it takes you a f- few chapters before you start. And then the, the response in. afterwards when they catch the Montagues. Uh, Montague does. running away he's like indeed nay redeem thy kicks for thy skin which we own <laughs> forthwith for this grievous offense it's like I so a lot of these things you gotta read back but he's basically saying like skate or, like or, <laughs> or we're kidding yeah. we're, we're you know we're killing you yeah. a lot of murder in this yeah pop, pop rocks you get <laughs> fucked up yeah. Right? yeah and that's basically the motivation of everyone like yeah either you're part of Capulet so you can run this part of the town yeah. or you're part of Montague so you run that part of town but as gang culture is, you keep encroaching on other people's kind of territory yeah. and putting your tag up. So, like, 
I love that the motivation is like I just want people to know that Montagu was here, and you could see in like big bright letters that they're spray painting in yeah. a certain scene. Yeah, right? and they're doing it to, uh, purposely to piss them off too in their territory. Of it's, course, it's gang warfare. <laughs> right, but in it's, the 80s. But it's in the teenager's mind because the next scene is they go to get their hair uh, lined up at the barber, and like there's a nice little scene of one of them's rolling up and everything, and they're all just talking about like this is the this is the biggest beef, and the the barber who's obviously older and has some experience is like. This is nothing. Like this means absolutely. This is dog yeah. piss. Like yeah. you're wasting your time. No camera. They use like they talk about beef specifically, and I love the fucking line. Where is it? Uh... Yeah, I remember reading the scene too, and I, this this scene was basically just bounced off my skull. <laughs> I was like, what? What are you the talking? Fuck are they about? talking about? And you're gonna get that a lot with this book, uh, if and when you read it. But I guarantee you'll you've never read something like this, and you. We'll never read something like this again, I don't think. Unless he makes a sequel. Because this is... But the amount of effort he has to go in to do all yeah, this like he is Yeah, like, he had to write it and then, like, recode it. Write it, recode it, think of things that happened in Romeo and Juliet when... And then tie it all together. And then tie it all together. They weren't centered around. And it, it's not a retelling of Romeo and Juliet, by the way. It's not a retelling. It's... It doesn't even touch on that. It no. just kind of lets you know that this is the world... This is the universe that they play in. Yeah. And eventually you'll see these characters. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of rich for a sequel if you want to go directly to those guys. Anyway, the barber says, more children, pierced over, childish bullshit. And uh, I think that's George. He says, not bullshit, barber, but the beef of our lord. Verily, cousin, for our lord, I'd cut beef. <laughs> like, they love it. It's it's so corny, yeah. but it makes sense in the world. Like, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Because you read this, and if you first are... First glance, you're like, what the yeah, fuck? It, oh, no, yeah. No, once you get into it, but there's a, decoding there, it, you're really into it. There's enough slang words, or just at least, like present words that you pick that up and you can re-engineer what he was trying to say and essentially he's like yo this is all we got like if we don't have this beef we don't have nothing and, yeah and barbara's like this is bullshit it's, like, yeah. it's not bullshit it's what we have like this is what we hang our hats on which is great because that's what you want from i don't know how much of our listeners have dived or dove into uh romeo and juliet but montagues and capulets what would be a good like it's like the brood going up against uh Oh no! It's like a who's Captain Marvel? Fucking! It's like the Kree, Kree going up against Kree and the, Kree and the... Brood's kind of in there. Yeah, and the Skrulls. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for lack of better, for yeah. a comic equivalence, I don't have a a DC version of it. But... Also, this is broken up in six acts, right? Correct. Six. So they do, and it's it, they base every act on uh, certain characters, and some are shorter than others. But they do the they do they do one for Tide Ball. If you want to get to just we'll just. Rather than go through the story, because I think people should read this. Yeah, we're trying to give as least spoils as yeah, much because so let's, what I we, think we're both already recommending you were, this to read. What, yeah, it's already a read. Nice. It's already a rereadable. Yeah, because you will have to reread it to catch everything you missed. You have five. to. You have to. So you have, but you also have to have some patience to to kind of because if you can't get into, I don't think so. I think like I think trust the reader, right? Like so, enough. if if all of you have been fortunate enough to read Shakespeare or had the upbringing where we we're forced to in kind of high school. And yeah. Every year you gotta read one. And some of them are fucking ridiculously good. Like, and the, you'll, the story is, yeah. again, you'll see the parallels in most of modern cinema, like Hamlet, Lion King, and as many other stories retold. Macbeth comes up. Yeah. Many different yeah. races. R- Roman Juliet's told in every fucking love story you've ever fucking seen. Um, this is good because you just get the most superficial level of that Romeo Juliet shit. Which is kind of bullshit, right? Like at the, yeah, at the yeah, end of the day, like yeah. they're so in love, like they kill yeah, each other. But, yeah, and because it doesn't focus, it doesn't center on them at yeah. all. You're, they're kind of like suddenly. It feels like they're suddenly in deep love, and it's like what? And Juliet is Tybalt's cousin, correct? And she wants to get free you with him, so she's a Capulet. Yeah, and he's kind of like wait. Well, that's not that's your that's your hot take on it. Well, I'm just just the basics. I don't want to spoil everything that's going on, but that's that's she wants to be with him with Tybalt. That's what you think. At the beginning. Uh, On the Ferris wheel and things. There's tones of like, yeah, there's... She, she seems lost. And then he, sk- yeah, and then he skates on her. Yeah, he's, he's like, like oh. yeah, this is not, probably not going to happen. Well, yeah. I mean, as soon as they address, as soon as they put the family in it, it's like, well, I don't think this is the type of author who's going to lean heavy no, into the No, and, and they didn't, but I mean, Shakespeare had a lot of that too, did he not? Yes. Cousins and stuff. And well, like, back then, like... Because that was... Yeah, so I think I think that's what... The end, that's what he was picking up I think up that's what really trying to do. He's kind of like, I honor, I respect this is what... As the story it, it came the, from, but the, I'm not doing that. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> My tie belt's uh, nah. <laughs> Which is hilarious because Rosalind, who ends up being tie belt's girl, yep. used to hook up with Romeo. Yeah. And there's a little scene where she's like, yo, enough of your bullshit. Like, I'm over this. Yeah. 
And like they're all using beepers and shit. I love that too. Yeah. They're all on pay phones calling each other. Yeah. Like it's so it's so nineteen eighties Brooklyn. It's not even funny. You don't hear the soundtrack. I mean, there's no soundtrack, but you hear it. You know when they're in a club what songs are pumping. Yeah. Like if you're a yeah. hip hop fan, you know what's yeah. like you know who's spinning. Like I even love the um when the DJ like sees it coming, right? Yeah. Like, because there's Capulets and Montagues and uh Tybalt. Someone steps on, I think, a, a Capulet's yeah, shoe. Scuffs his Nike. He's like, he, he, says, he says the line in Old English, and then the DJ's like, oh, blood on the dance yeah. floor, and then shit just goes yeah. fucking haywire. The action in this is crazy. Yes. Um, and and sparsed. Yeah. Like, it's not a bloody comic book. No. No. It's very much a story comic book. There's probably two, book. three action scenes, I think. But when, Full they, blown. when they get into it, yeah. it's... it's Honestly, it's I like anime. You, it's like, Pum. yeah, it, and it, because of so many limbs are flying, it remind me of the bride scene in Kill Bill. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's yeah. always a limb flying, and yeah. obviously they're using samurai swords to do it, and they all seem super proficient with them, which is amazing, right? Like, just that this is the the universe that they've built, that all these teens have decided to pick up swords instead of guns. Great. Yeah, I'm all in. And it's like it's like a a professional dueling too, because like, mm-hmm. I know in the breaks they show. In the breaks of not from all the acts, but in breaks from from Mostly, story beats, yeah. they have like the, the reports, hit yeah, the hit yeah, list the, of how many people died and who was part of the duel, and then the story of whoever whoever they're covering on that duel who lost. Yeah, and Romeo remains on top of that list. Yeah, which is amazing. Right? Yeah, That's, but you don't you don't really see him until part way through. I know he's the second, he's the second or third, he's the third he's act, third act, yeah. But his is the shortest one, and this, then he comes back later on. He's the least you need to know about because theoretically you already know about him yeah so the fact that they made him kind of this um on a pedestal character that tybalt is because every Cause tybalt's, act, cause tybalt's grimy he keeps but and he keeps <laughs> rising in the list too which is a nice little easter egg like yeah slowly get him closer and closer so you know where it's finally gonna head off yeah. and when they finally meet it's exactly what you wanted because you've been looking at all these little hit list updates this book is also very funny yes when they get into the sparring like the verbal sparring matches yes I was like, I was rolling. Yes. There's um, there's a scene at the fair, but there's the, I'm gonna recite the even, ju- even the, the nursery poem. rhymes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the, the Julia Julia poem. Out. Yeah. She tells she's she's with Tybalt telling him a joke, and he goes, "So Superman was exceedingly randy and too lame to get any panty, so he took off and flew to see his friends, to see friends that he knew, but Batman and Robin weren't handy. Flying high, his libido was raven." He saw Wonder Woman naked sunbathing, <laughs> so he flew in and smashed, and off he dashed, too fast to be caught misbehaving. Wonder Woman did politely inquire that the hell did just, sorry, Wonder Woman did politely inquire what the hell did, did, did just transpire. The Invisible Man said, rubbing his can, I don't know, but my ass is a fire. <laughs> <laughs> so so rumor, he's dying. Yeah, rumor approved, <laughs> uh, rumor uh, yeah, so when, approved Superman's gay. When printing, when printing for Vertigo, you can <laughs> you can use the character. <laughs> yeah, you you can shit all over the. So Batman and Robin are a gay lovers, and Superman did yep. Mister Invisible. Dirt, yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. Basically, they get they get together. <laughs> but he wanted some Wonder Woman. But, can and but again, to your to your point, the humor is hilarious on yeah. that level, and I can't I couldn't help. And I butchered going... I butchered it, but the flows. You, yeah, you once, once you get, yeah, once yeah. you get into the flow of the just reading the book, you'll start understanding the cadence and where everything kind of kicks in. But I couldn't help but flashing back to high school reading this book because half the yeah. stuff they're doing, oh, yeah. minus the, obviously the samurai swords and yeah, yeah, you're the not, cutting of limbs. I didn't cut any of those limbs. But just hang, literally hang out with your crew doing nothing, looking for something yeah. to do. Let's do fucking, yeah. Just, like there's girls in the, just the, the girls' washroom smoking and just exchanging stories. One of them teaches them like, I had to do blowjobs and shit. Yeah. Like, it just took so they me, go in depth about it. <laughs> it just took me back to like a simpler time. And like, this is what the author really fucking uh, encapsulates the best is just what it's like to be a teen and like the range of emotions that you're feeling. You feel like everything is the last time you're going to do it because you never felt it so much. Like you're so in love. You're so angry. You're so upset. You're so depressed. And yeah, this book just puts a weapon in their hand to mobilize their emotions which is great yeah yeah it's awesome it's i don't know like it's such a it was this it's such a it's moody it's a and mix. playful yeah it's weird he rides a lot of lines in this book yeah thank you for saying that i was like stuttering i couldn't, well, <laughs> couldn't that, that, get it out because like, it's just so i felt so the more i read this book and the more i talk about it the more i like it and the more i like it the more i actually love it right but it's such a weird trip i've never had this happen before i've never read a book where i was like the fuck is this it, and then by, by the end, I was like, you know, oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, it, it, 
it grows on you every read. It changes every read. It's all, it's honestly like a Rubik's cube. Yeah. Because you keep trying to figure it out, and when you don't, you end up with this weird, uh, colored puzzle, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. "This looks good. This looks good, but it's not. But it's not. So you yeah. try again. And you're like, okay, there's another thing I'll pull out of it. So I mean, again, the fact that he. So, like, we have to give credit to the artist and the writer because he's one of the few to be the artist and the writer. Yeah. Not only did he yeah. understand the language, which we'll go back into it, but the art style in it. Yeah. Like... This is his baby. This is his passion project. People look as real as people can look. I mean, they're, like, long, drawn-out sort of anime, so they're kind of gangly, but yes. what makes sense yeah. in this world. Like, yeah. I feel like 1980s, this is what everyone was anyway. Like, nobody was really round. Everyone was kind of just... Lean. Gangly, right? Like, yeah. so... The clothes make sense, the, the the shadows that make sense, and the fact that we haven't even talked about it yet, it's a predominantly black yep. yeah. story and cast, yeah. so even that kind of changes the whole narrative on what's going on, and the fact that with Tybalt, you completely understand how he can go from so angry to like so impassioned to so, like, he's loyal to a fault, and still, like hard as fuck like he yeah. has something to prove there's a chip on his shoulder and like that all pours into obviously the the black effect of it all so like there's a lot going on that shouldn't make sense but for whatever reason but it does he, he put it onto a blender and it just yeah. came out like yeah. god damn i think romeo's the only white guy right romeo and there's another character there's oh another... the dude that gets his shoe stepped on oh right yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got yeah, some okay. hot kicks yeah but a- everyone else is predominantly black and rosaline is she from the she she's seems like she's a original? Monty. She see, uh, Rosalind is a character. Okay, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know Romeo and Juliet. I never read it. So. She she seems. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's a Montagu because we first intro her when she's talking with Romeo and some other yep. Montagu kind of clan. Yeah. And she, to catch Tybalt, Mo, the Montagus and Romeos set up a trap for him, and she's the first one to run and be like, "Yo, it's a yeah, trap." Yeah, like, She lets him know. And Tybalt being the chip on his shoulder, like, bravado, like, I got something to prove. Like, ain't no thing. Like, yeah. We're, again, we're... And he's sick, too. He doesn't... He... We're completely undercutting the... the Not the tone, the just the the verbiage. Like, we're not we're not quoting. Oh, yeah, you be, gotta read this shit. Because right? the way that he says... Like, the way that she warns him and the way that he is just confident to be like, yo, I got this, babe. And then walks in and just dummies, like, six dudes. And then they're, they're speaking Japanese too. Like there's like these, yeah. Yeah. these nice yeah. little touches. Yeah, they hired that he some. They hired some. Yeah, uh, they got ringers in basically. Got ringers, right? yeah. To take them out, and he takes them all out. Like even that, like the the opening scene of Romeo, he meets. I can't remember this guy's name, but he's also in Romeo and Juliet. Uh-huh. But they're in that tunnel where he's spray painting. Yes. There's a dust up. Right. Yeah. And then they flash back to when he dusts them up. Like it's awesome. It's and this awesome. is this is why I've got to read a few more times because I I kept getting certain names and characters confused because I'm not familiar with the source material. Right. And they don't hand, they don't hold your hand in this book. No. He doesn't. He's just like here. They throw, they drop in the world, and if you you don't catch up, keep up. You you'll have to go back yeah. and restart. Which is fine because it's it's a it's a joy to read to try and decipher and break down everything. There's that scene in the at, I think the fair when uh, Gre- Gregory and Samson go to to buy some dogs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and and they completely. They, they get into an altercation with a verbal altercation with the girl running the the stand. Dog stand, yeah. And it dips in from like I'll I'll quote it real quick. She, he's just like, "What's going on with those with those fucking dogs? Is he done or not?" She's like, "What?" And the and the whole like the whole verbiage just drops. He's kind of like, "I'm saying you had to kill the pig or what? You've been preparing that dog for ten minutes." And his boy's like, "Verily." So it goes. <laughs> So so can like, I can I eat? Like yeah. you were cooking for so fucking long. So it goes from that, but he they completely drop the. The old the English, yeah, the Shakespeare, and yeah. he's kind of like, I'm dead serious, like, yeah, I'm girl. hungry, yeah. <laughs> yeah right, Are you killing a pig back there? What goes on afterwards? I'm not gonna read it because it's it's worth experiencing for the first time. The back and forth, like, ooh, and all. yeah, and then, like, and, and to think it's that so Ty, Ty Ball's a secondary character pushed to the mainstream. George and uh, Samson turn yeah, out to Gregory. be like Greg. Remember, Greg and Samson turn out to be like like comic relief. Almost. But well, great secondary characters, yeah. even though they're kind of tertiary characters. Yeah. So just the move to kind of put who you initially thought would have been the spotlight, Romeo and Juliet, to the back burner, and give all this rich kind of tapestry a shot to shine, yeah. and then make them shine, because the same goes to, I, again, I wish I remember the name, um, Romeo's dude, who leads the Montagu clan. The show, the dude in the, with the hook? Yes. The hook? Let, yes, yes. Oh, and even that, like, we, we talk about samurai swords, but there's different types of blades, too. Yeah, like, everybody, everybody has, has like their own a, weapons. Whoop, whoop, yeah. yeah, and that comes into play with how they fucking interact with each other and how, like, the fence, like, 
it's it's riddled with i want to say easter eggs but it's not easter eggs it's just things that you if you look closer you'll see way more in it than you would have if you yeah. just breezed by yeah like typical comics it's just page to page turn the page you get the story this one's like read it read it hold on a second scroll back up or flip the page back over reread again and then like oh wait wait this is going back to this over yeah. here on top of an amazing art style like this one page it has like i love that scene sorry I'm sh- we're looking at the book right now that that's sick where they come in and like, he slips in the blood it's, it's got like 10 panels but they're all Spliced, chopped into yeah. and he does an amazing thing where he'll split uh an across panel into two so you can get both sides of the page yeah and just to give you the spine like there's a scene where is that the yeah it is yeah. so like the bloody the cops going to the yeah yeah they come to the club after the lights are on and like there's, there's so much mood in the book that he, he portrays with light so blue off obviously gives you a sadder mood. Yeah. Red gives you obviously an angrier mood, and you can see that coming to play. Like most of the fight scenes are in red. Red, yeah. Most of the like, yo, what the, the fuck after, just happened? The aftermath is in blue. Kind and of like, transitions from purple and to then, blue. And then day to day is either blacks or like yellows, purples, oranges, right? Yeah. Day or night, right? So, like the stark contrast between page that'll throw you. Like if this was an animation, you would get a seizure because yeah. of the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. color palette yeah. that he goes through. Yeah, it's kind of like the you watch that the. The Sex, Love, and Robots show on Netflix. I, I have not. You've oh, told me check to, it out. Yeah, you told me to check it There's, out. There's it, it. The animation feels like it fits into one of those. The, the animation is wildly different in all the right. episodes, but it feels like belongs there. Yeah, not not the story because the stories are all about robots, but um, the art style. It it looks like it feels and looks like it, it would fit in an animation like that. Um. Yeah, it's it's distinct. They look and like people, they but close, they, they don't look like people. Like it's, it's dumb, but when they get the close ups, it's it, super detailed. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's such a it's such a day and night comic because you think it's one thing, and then you're like, oh no, it's night, and it completely turns to another thing. And then when you're like, oh, it's night, I understand night. Yeah, it turns back into day. And you're like what? Like you can't put a finger. This is maybe the hardest thing that we have to review without a visual form like this is us just trying to yeah, translate I, what's going on on a page this may this there's may, so much going on, on page. this may actually be a shorter arc announce because i don't want to talk about the story much because no. it's, it's you have to it's almost like goodfellas where you can't really there's nudity that helps yes there, there's boobs there's boobs <laughs> and, and bo- boobs and booty but you can't like it's almost like goodfellas where you can't really describe it you just have to watch it because it, it. kind of it's a world that unfolds and things happen and titties are out Samurai stars are out. Samurai stars are out. Dreams. There's dreamscape pages. There, it's it's so unique. Yes. That you even if you don't like it, and it's this, worth reading. Yeah, and this is this was how I felt the first time, the very beginning. I read it, and I when I finished, it, I liked it more than when I started. But I was like, man, even if I don't love this. At the time, because like, I kind of do now, so, I fucking it's so, so unique, interesting. It's, so it's so interesting, interesting. Never it's so well done, it's so fucking and to get so many nails special. on a head, right? It's so special to understand. First of all, old English, like fuck yeah. you, like how yeah. dare you? Yeah, and yet you you squeeze it in and made that work, you son right? Of, you son, you son of, of a bitch. bitch. <laughs> to 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 not to steal, but to like encapsulate a work of art with Romeo and Juliet and then decide, you know what? I'm, those are going to be my fucking tertiary characters yeah, yeah. and go completely left field. Amazing. The art styling and then the choice to make it 1980s Brooklyn. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a spin of New York yeah. somewhere in New York. I think it's Brooklyn. Cause this, they don't say it's, this would have been completely different. If it was 1990s. It would have right, been completely yeah. different. If it was 1970s. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you could have get a, like well, there's, the, there's certain veins, like there's certain like little windows that he had to slide in. Plus the costume party where they do. <laughs> it, it's so fitting for the time. It's. And then just the art styling because each page, like literally each page either explodes, explodes with just the veracity of action or just emotion that's going on or it's some of the most calm like calmest storms leading to something great like anytime they're on a rooftop it's fucking so cinematic or anytime it's just a couple a couple of them hanging out smoking yeah like just the choice to like oh i want this in pink this in blue these guys in black like pop 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 and then the paneling with it yep. because it's fast paneling you're not going to get a lot of like wide two page just uh, cinematic open shots it's all very 
cut, 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 cut. So fast pace. Everything's constantly moving. And that's kind of the story of a high school student. Like nothing yeah. was ever no. take time. Like no. let it unfold. You're like, no, it's got to be now. And now, everything's now. heavy. Everything's dramatic. Like in high school, I'm talking about and yeah, yeah. same with this book. Everything's heavy. Everything's dramatic. Everything's bright. Everything's eye catching. Everything's go, go, go. Like yeah. the sun going down doesn't stop the party. The sun coming up doesn't stop the party either. Right. Like school is such a afterthought. Yeah. It was really only. That was really the only way that we could draw lines, right? I only knew these guys were my crew because we went to the same school. Yeah. And then from there, yeah. it's like, fuck everybody else that doesn't go to this school. Yeah. Same sort of shit with Montague and Capulets. It's like, we live over here, so we rep this shit. You ain't from here, fuck you. And then they had spray painting on it, which is fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Who it's love tagging. Is, yeah. Ugh. And it's crazy. Especially, especially in 1980s yeah. New York, right? Like, that was live or die with the B-boy sound. I know I've said this already, like, a couple times, but it's... It's so interesting to read. It's almost like Watchmen, the, the book, where you read it, and the the act of reading it is more interesting than the... Actual story? Than the actual story. Yeah. Because that's what this is. It's just, it was so fun to read. Mm-hmm. What's that now? We've, I've compared it to Goodfellas and Watchmen the book. Like this, is, yeah. like, this is what we're talking about. This is... <laughs> and still, we, don't, we, and still we haven't special. encapsulated what it is, right? No, and we're trying not to, I, and it's I've hard co- to... I've compared George to... Or is that Samson? Samson and Gregory? Yeah. Sorry, I keep on. <laughs> oh, with the majority of the Forge thing. Yeah. Well, I call him like uh, I want to call him a Cyclops uh, cameo. Oh yeah, yeah. Larry Blackman. Yeah. If you know anything about cameos, to do that wore the cod piece and then had the high, high top fade. But like he's got yeah. a great haircut. Yeah, like uh, all these characters look like they're actually plucked out of real time, and put back into the pages. Like I know girls that are Rosalind. And the ending's really the ending's cool. I don't, I don't want to say what happens, but the oh. ending's really cool. Even though he's wearing a Thriller jacket. Yeah, I know. That's like yeah, the costume yeah. party. Throw the jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, the, yeah. Throw the jacket, the um, Wonder Woman outfit. So, and it's definitely um, a personal story, too, because you Very. can you can see how many little nods he's added in yep. from his real world experience. I wouldn't be surprised if he went through something similar like this with whatever his Rosalind was. If yeah. he, if he, oh, yeah. If he sees himself as Tybalt. Um, but it, again, it, it's so unique to that specific time. So, if you're not an 80s baby, um, I don't know if you'll get as much depth into it. But... Well, it's the same as if you're not really a Romeo and Juliet fan, you'll get this. You'll still enjoy it. Or you should still enjoy it, but there's an extra layer there if you really like. Romeo yeah, and that, Juliet, that, right? that's really what it is. Like, yeah. he'll he'll find a layer for you. So if you never really liked Japanese anime, fine. But if you do, oh, damn. You, 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 there's a, there's a new layer here. The for you. Uh, the yeah. art styling and the fact the weaponry choices and yeah, the, right. the way that's they good, hold yeah. it, like they lean back on yeah. it. They know like yeah. you, there's certain shots where they're just you just see their hand holding like the like help. a trigger figure, yeah. right? Yeah, just ready to fucking flip up. And you, it's almost like you can hear like the. <sighs> Yeah, they're they're when ready they for it, right? It's crazy. Well, I think there's like even a scene where like he finishes dicing a dude and you see him like tap the fucking yeah, sword right. and shit. Like, like, oh, yeah. like fuck. Yeah. Those are the scenes that you fucking love in like samurai movies, right? It's just like I'm so badass, I'm gonna fucking smack the sword. Yeah, just cleared all and the blood and shit. And it's funny when I first read it, I didn't, I didn't. Usually when we read things, we'll message each other. I didn't message you right. I was like, I'm just gonna leave this. No, you just threw it up. Well, because I kind of got a the joke on how you read it way before I realized what it was because I sent you a thing about like, oh, yo, this is new, Spike Lee's new, he's doing yeah, a comic yeah, book. And you're yeah. like, check the docs. So yeah, like, check the docs. Yeah, the documents. I had it already lined up. We and moved it up to get it, to get it in for now. Because we can't, we'll leave already in, like, I, do you want to, okay, well, let's Spike let, Lee's adapting it, yeah. I, I know, but I feel like that's what's going to be the second part of this kind of episode because we can only go so far if we're not telling you what's going on in the right. story. So is this a boom or a not boom. for you, really? Boom. No, it's a. It's got to be a. Um, even like I say, like the first time I read it, as soon as I read, it, I knew it was gonna be a boom, even though I didn't really like it as much as I do now. Was, it, was that of art style alone? It was off of image. Uh, yeah, image alone. Like that's not Morgan Freeman. I don't know who is. Yeah, no, just just off of his ability to to maybe I didn't like it. So what? At the time, right. I do now. Um, but the fact that he was able to craft this. I just, how do you not give this a, yeah, this is amazing. The end, we're in the ending right now. It's amazing. How do you not give this a, even if you don't like it, how do you not like, you see what's there. You do it like this. I give it a. <laughs> I'm actually going to put the sound too. <laughs> no. Okay. And then, and then I. Re- boom. Boom. This is again, that's another. Did you like it the first time you read it? I've been talking yeah. my ass off of this. Yeah, so you... I did. I read it through so and I was no like, oh, for you. no, I yeah. just knew it was like, I got to read this back again. Cause as soon here's, here's, I know. Here's how I know if I love a comic or not. If as soon as I read it, I go look on the internet to find more information about the comic. It. You like I it. fucking like it. Yeah. Because I love adding another level to it. And 
to its credit, there's not a lot out there. There's a couple interviews from the writer talking about. Yeah, I looked at some stuff too. There's not much. But I enjoy that more yeah. because of what we're going to talk to about next, which is what we always envision for all the comics that we love. Yeah, is them moving to another medium, and this has already been picked up by Spike Lee. Spike Lee, yeah. And they already announced the lead to play Ty Did Bolt. They? I don't know. Uh, Lake Heath uh, Stanfield. Where's he from? Atlanta. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. What's the, oh, fuck it. Sorry for sorry while I bug you. Sorry for bugging you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. That movie's so underrated and so fucking good. He's amazing in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, he's in something else that I just saw. He uh, he's also in Get Out. Yeah, you know what's funny is his, and his, his... And he looks perfect his, for Tybalt. I was going to say, his he form looks looks, perfect for yeah, Tybalt. He'll kill it. And he's got the mannerisms where I feel like he could pick up a samurai sword and I would... Sorry to bother, yeah. And I would fucking rate that already, right? So, just that combination, if they're really about making this a true adaptation, I can only imagine what the color fucking palette is going to look like. Because Spike Lee has done 1980s inspired movies and done movies in the 1980s. It's an It's a straight adaptation. I would hope so. Yeah, I was, yeah, was going to say, I hope why, so. Why would you want to change? Continue if you're no. Spike Lee, why are you taking it out of No, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to be like continuation or... No, I wouldn't do that. And that's that's the line I want to yeah. say. Because um, going back to when you talk about how um, the Capulets are telling the Montagues to kick kick rocks, get your kicks out of there. Yeah. One of the... As soon as they like take off and they jump over like the street, they jump over like building a building and then a train passes by and one of them screams out, must be the kicks. Yeah. And I was like, that's such the perfect Spike <laughs> line. For him to finally put in a movie. Yeah. Because obviously the writer was referencing Spike Lee, Mars Blackman, talking about the Michael Jordan must be the shoes, right? Yeah. So to see actual Jordans in here and potentially a Mars Blackman character say, it must be the... Like, that's a fucking full circle, circle, <laughs> circle. It's almost like he was trying to get Spike's attention. I'm like, how, if there's any other director to, to handle this, who else would you want? Other than Robert Rodrigo, because of certain, like, I feel like he could handle... Rodriguez, sorry. Yeah. But like pop colors and yeah. just like he would film it all on like a green screen and then pop to it. And not to but mention he's, he's worked with Sin City already. That's what I'm was, saying. Uh, Again, I'm not I'm not mad with who they've casted for direction and lead actor. Like everything else just seems to be icing at this point. Yep. I just hope I hope it can come to. Uh, let me just find a favorite or a random panel. Yeah. Did you just scrolling randomly. Like if it can look like that. Yeah. On the screen. My God! All the colors and shit. Yeah, I don't. And then still keeping true to the verbiage is this, another. This thing is so. This book is so fucking special. Even if you don't like it, there's no way you're not gonna respect it. I don't know. Like, I because I looked up some stuff too, and I was looking at reviews and things yeah. like that. And even the guys who didn't like it, like, it's worth. It's not for out. me. Yeah, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's worth reading. <laughs> it's definitely not bad. You have to know things like this exist because again, we we started in comics off the hey superhero gets a cape. Yeah. Saves the girl. This is End not of the that. day. This is no. not that. So, so far from that. Yeah. And, and that's what you want. You want, yep. because we love this medium, clearly, if we have a podcast, you want to find stories that keep pushing the boundaries of what you can tell stories on. <laughs> and the ways to tell stories. And this guy found, like, six different ways to yep. squeeze different stories on top of stories that have already been told, too. Like, it's a point for kind of doing a, what's the word? Not a, a retelling. Re- it was retelling, yeah. like a, a reboot. Yeah. But he just moved the camera left. Yeah. And it's like, hey, who's this guy? Exactly. Here? Who's so his cousin? He retools it. He recenters it in a different time. He restructures it. Restructures it. He creates his own language. He creates his own rhythm for that language. Right. He does the, his own art style. He borrows from um, anime style fights, a Wu Tang Clan type of like injection it's, energy it's and incredible. then and then it's still homey enough that it flashes you back to when you were in high school because it's yeah. still so yeah. fucking yeah, it's personal relatable. it is yeah. relatable that you're like things. none of this seems far-fetched uh, if like my clan was rolling in 1980s we'd all have some fucking exactly. samurai I, swords i didn't we didn't grow up in 80s brooklyn or wherever yeah. the fuck yeah it's brooklyn, yeah. It's brooklyn new right? york right yeah no. it's supposed to be it's a spin-off in new york it's not and we actually. didn't grow up in the 80s we're 80 no. babies but yeah. we definitely remember what it was like to be in high school we were just bored but you can relate this let's see c- couldn't wait nothing. to get out yeah just do nothing with couldn't your... wait to do something <laughs> i just wanted to do some hood shit with my, <laughs> with my hood <laughs> friends <laughs> it's good again boom boom yep boom. i hope i hope we get to cover a fucking trailer bait review or some shit on this because yeah. Oh, this, yeah, is, we'll, this we'll, is definitely this... a property that we'll be watching closely, and I think we're going to end up reading it again. Or, uh, Probably. We'll find a way to squeeze this guy into something. Probably. Else, if not the the comic artist. And it is. Writer. This is. I just want to say before I leave, before we're done, it is literally the most unique thing I've ever read. 
and then uh, not enough credit to he did the art styling and the writing yeah. like yeah. that's not easy yeah. to do no especially in comics anyway it was okay that's I mean, just fine it was like meh 